Hey y'all, it's your girl Natural Beauty. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all how I package and ship my hair orders. Okay, I do apologize that the camera is a bit shaky. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with this right here. This is my box where I store um, all of my labels for my packaging. So this is my brand logo. It's Chromosome Twist and it's a sticker. This is what I put on the packages and um, they come like this. And this right here is the hang tag that I use for um, when I hang it on the hair. And this is what I use to distinguish the color and the length. I'm sorry, y'all, my nails is a little janky right now, but hey, quarantine life. All right, so, um, and I have the hair care instructions right here as well. So this, this tool right here is what I use to hole punch, to hole punch this. Um, card right here and then I use this type of string to string it through and tie it on to the bundle and um, Let me try to zoom out a little bit. So I'm not Okay, so this is my thank you card that I use and I put this in all of my orders I don't want you guys to read my thank you um, So you guys will know what it says Okay, so um, I Did everything like the thank you card. I used Canva and this is a five by seven card. Um, I wanted to, this, I didn't know it was gonna be this big, honestly, but it's okay, it's fine with me. So I'm gonna put that back, move that over here. And um, the next thing, this is the printer that I use. It's the Brother, that's the number right here. So this is where I'm gonna be printing off my shipping labels. And this is what I'm going to be using to print out my packing slip. And so for my shipping labels, I use this. I got this from Amazon. It's 200 labels. I felt like it was more cost efficient for me to go this route versus getting the Dymo printer. I do want to get that eventually, but you know, you have to start from somewhere and this is what I decided to use, okay? And so this is how the sheet looks. It's two labels per sheet. Um, and since I have six orders going out, I just used three. I just go went ahead and took three sheets out. And for my packing slip, just regular printer paper. And I have my little cutter right here so I can cut the labels. Um, if, if I don't know how it's going to print out on here. I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of white space. So if it's a lot of white space, my OCD is going to kick in. I'm going to have to trim it. But if not, I'm really not going to need to use it. I have my little water right here. I have um, lemon in it as well. I squeezed the lemon juice in here. And um, yeah, I really like this water bottle. I just got it. Um, so for the hair, this is what I currently use. I package the hair in these um, zipped bags. Now... I don't want to, I'm like, once I get done with this, I'm going to try to switch over to um, poly, no, cellophane, yeah, cellophane bags is what I want to um, switch over from, well, switch over to, I want to switch over to the um, cellophane bags because I feel like it's more clear, more crisp, but hey, listen, y'all, this is, this is where I'm starting off, you have to start from somewhere. And I don't have any custom mailers. I use flat rate envelopes. And then I do have one order that's pretty big. And so I'm going to ship it in here because it's not gonna all fit in here. So that's what I have. And then I do add tissue paper um, to some of my orders. And then this is all of the hair. You guys, let me get up to show you. This is all of the hair that I've twisted. Let me get the light so you guys can see. All right, y'all. So this is all of the bundles. These are the short. These are the short right here. I had three orders of the short. And this is the um, regular length of chromosome twist. And all of these colors are in the um, 1B30. And then this is the um, 1B27. And then this is this is the one. So these are the orders, and you guys, I twisted all of these um, within a one week um, time frame. So once you place your order, I do my best to 
um, ship you ship out the orders as soon as possible. Um, so for the for this order, what I did was um, oops, I forgot. I have one more. Y'all, I have hair everywhere. <laughs> this is another hair order too. So I do trim off. I do trim off the excess string, but this is what I use when I'm twisting it. So I go back and I cut cut all the excess string and things like that. So I have my laptop. Y'all, this case is oh, old faithful right there. I need to um, switch out the case. But this is what I'm going to use to pull up the orders and print out the shipping labels. I do use ShipStation for um, printing out my labels. And then I do have this for my scale. I just got it. So this is going to be my first time using it, but I'm excited. And yeah, so this is my workstation, y'all. And like I said, we're in my salon. And so, um, oh my, that's my kid's little kitchen toy. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my workstation. I'm about to play some music or watch some videos on YouTube. I don't know yet, but um, I'm going to go ahead and chill, relax, and I'm going to ship out your orders. Okay, I went ahead and printed out all of the packing slips to put them with the hair before I put them all in their individual bags. One of the things that I really like about packing slips is that you can acknowledge any notes or comments that the customer leaves um, for you so it's really good that you are able to circle it and acknowledge any special request or any notes that they make and also y'all I know y'all see my quarantine braids don't judge me please do not judge me quarantine life and so as you can see I'm now going to put all of the hair in their bags I place one bundle per bag. So right now I am just marking the hair color and the length on the cards that you saw me talk about earlier.
I'm going to now get ready to package this first pair order. My packaging is pretty simple as you can see. Um, I don't have any custom mailers or anything like that. So I would highly suggest that if you're starting off, use what you have, use your resources. You don't have to break the bank or feel obligated to spend a lot of money on your packaging. Start small and then as you begin to grow, and your brand begins to develop, then you can go ahead and get custom mailers. I take my packing slip and the thank you card, I insert that in first into the envelope on top of the tissue and then I take each bundle and place them in. So let me know what you think of my packaging, if you think it's cute or anything that you feel like um, I can add to make it better. So let me know, I'm always up to hear what you guys think. Okay y'all, so I backed up all of the hair and um, I'm going to kind of give you guys a close-up of the packaging. So, um, as you can see, this is the 1B30. Um, I wrote it right here, my label tag. So, um, this is the three bundle pack. And so, this is how the hair normally comes. This is the number one, in the regular length. And um, to show you the difference, this is the short. The short is in this bag. I followed the twist out. So, um, so if you look at it in the bag, there's a difference between um, the two there. So I'm going to now show you guys how I box up one of my big orders. I already have two packages already packed. They're sitting over there in the corner. So I have those packed. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do my big order so you guys can see it on camera. Okay, so with the big order, it's not going to fit in the priority mail envelope, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the box here. And so, let me move some of these out the way. And y'all, I ran out of my little card, so if you get your package and it's missing one or two, I'm sorry, I ran out, and so I have to order some more. Boxes. You go on USPS.com and you look up shipping supplies and you'll be able to order the exact um, boxes or ma uh, mailers that you need and they will deliver it to your house. Together, y'all. <laughs> okay. 
shipping label is being printed right now and so I'm going to go ahead and tape up the box. Now with these, I would like to make sure that it's protected so I'm going to go ahead and tape I printed on the wrong side. <laughs> And that is how I package and ship my orders. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. So if you have your own business and need some ideas on shipping and packaging, hope this helped you out. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video.